All right, we're talking about offensive centers uh, in the 2024 draft. Center is oftentimes a position that gets neglected. You know, it's it's a position that uh, is essential in uh, finding guys that are versatile, that can play, you know, more than one position sometimes is uh, what people are looking for if they're going to draft the center high. First guy on our list is Jackson Powers Johnson from Oregon. 2022, he was more a reserve guard and played all positions, and he moved around and got a lot of playing time. He broke out in 2023, and um, nothing came close to the dominance that he put on this past season in his first year as a full-time starter at center. He's got a solid frame for the position. He flashes. He had the lower body power. He can stun a defender uh, in their tracks. He, he also can get to the second level. He's got excellent lateral movement. He can get to the next guy over you know, on a zone block, and uh, he does a great job picking up stunts while maintaining his base. Quickness and his ability to block in space is uh, is outstanding. He's still a work in progress a little bit, but he plays tall sometimes. But he has the tools of a long-term starter. We like the power. We like the athleticism. We like the way he plays. Uh, Cedric Van Pran from Georgia, on the other hand, is a three-year starter. He's our next guy. He's a very quick snap and step. He fires off the ball and gets into defender's frame with power and foot quickness. He can get to the next defender with a very good lateral movement. He can seal on zone plays. He's a powerful straight up blocker. He can knock a defender off the ball and he picks up stunts with the, in the pass rush very well. Strong hands, knee bend. Uh, he'll overplay at times and he'll give up the back door uh, in his zeal to move laterally and he'll get upright at times and he'll lose leverage. That said, he's got the potential also to be a solid NFL starter. Zach Frazier from West Virginia is another former guard who transitioned to center full-time a couple years ago. He's a former wrestler, and we like that in the center because they usually have outstanding balance, and he does. He's got a good, solid frame, allows him to play with a good pad low, kind of a squatty body type guy. Accelerates in a hurry off the snap, and he brings power on the move. He's a leader. He makes the calls in the middle. Very good at picking up stunts and pass pro, and he does he does lack ideal length, and that's, a, that's an issue. He's a better player than he might project. He's got some work to do technique-wise, but he's a solid player, and we think he could be a, a starter in the NFL eventually. Bo Limmer from uh, Arkansas. Uh, he's another guy who makes all the line calls, good leadership. He plays with a very feisty demeanor. As a run blocker, he consistently maintains leverage. He's a hustler, plays to the whistle. He has very good range, blocking at the second level. He's always looking for work. Uh, whether it's in pass protection or in run blocking as he gets downfield. His pass protection is still a little inconsistent. Uh, his punch and mirror is not what you're looking for at this point in time consistently, but he's got t- he's got some good ability and he's got a chance as well. Drake Nugent from Michigan, high football IQ. He makes excellent adjustments and is adept at coming off to pick up a stunt. Very mobile. Another guy that does a good job getting to the second level in a zone combo block. Very good zone blocker. Gets to the next man over and lock on. Very tenacious one-on-one. His best is a run blocker, and he can knock people around, but he's a little inconsistent in his pass protection, and defenders can get around. At times, he's powerful. he has a powerful initial strike and then loses the defender. Punch and mirror is, a li- is inconsistent at this point, but he does flash the ability. He's got the tools, and in the right setting, he can develop into a, a solid NFL center.